My name is Matt Spa, and I'm a photographer and video producer in Atlanta, Georgia. In this video, I'm going to whine and complain once again about the otherwise wonderful Manfrotto 055 tripod, and then I'm going to show two solutions that Manfrotto offers to fix the thing about which I'm going to whine. One is a leveling column that will be exclusive to 055 owners, and the other is a leveler that will work on any column-based tripod. If you're new here, my channel is on the level about all things audio, video, and photo related, if any of those topics interest you and if you can stomach bad puns, I hope you'll consider subscribing. If you've spent any time at all browsing my channel, you've no doubt run across a video or two about tripods, and in particular the Manfrotto 055. I made a little trilogy about it in which I first complained and then I apologized and then ultimately concluded that it really did have a lot to offer. I then made a follow-up when I realized that if I turned this handle around, I could operate this knob with my left hand, which for some reason was a real epiphany at the time. The only thing I have left to complain about is that it can be sometimes a bother to get level. Now I love my 055. It strikes this really great balance of size and weight and leg diameter and number of sections. And it has this fantastic column that allows you to raise and lower your head, but it also will swing down, swing down 90 degrees for top down shots or to allow you to get the camera really low to the ground. But for getting things perfectly level, I've always had to resort to making leg adjustments. Most video tripods have a ball mount and a bowl and all of that stuff mounts to the head and that configuration, come on now, there we go. That configuration allows you to get your camera level independent of the legs. So you've got like the base and then you can, you can level it. If you have a center column, which can be raised and lowered, it means that you have to resort to making individual leg adjustments to get your camera level. And like I said, that can be a hassle, especially if you're trying to work quickly. And that brings me to the first of the two solutions that I wanna show you, which is the, hang on, there it is. The Manfrotto 055 LC, and LC stands for leveling column. Full disclosure, Manfrotto did send this to me, but they're not paying me to make this video, and all my comments are, of course, as always, my own. The 055 LC is a direct replacement for the standard center column on any 055 tripod. At the top of the column, it has a 50 millimeter ball with a 15 degree range of movement, allowing you to level your camera without having to do the leg adjustment dance. To install it, you simply remove the stock center column from your 055. Did I say simple? Did I say it's really simple? Watch how difficult it ends up being. You remove the 055, you unscrew the tightening knob at the bottom of the leveling column, slide the column into place, come on, there it is, slide the column into place, and screw the tightener back on. It fits perfectly, it's nicely made, it's solid, it's smooth. You could even use it without a head if your camera has a 3 8 inch screw hole in the bottom of your cage or camera. It's just, it's awesome. It's a, it's a very elegant piece of equipment, but it does have a couple of trade-offs. Uh, one, you don't get the same amount of vertical adjustment that you get with the standard center column. The leveling column is just a couple of inches shorter. And second, you lose the ability to swing the column into that horizontal position. Now for me, this is not a huge deal because I really only use that setup when I need to get really low to the ground. And as long as I still have the standard column on hand, swapping them out is really simple. Which brings me to option number two. If you want to add a leveling bowl to any tripod, Manfrotto makes something called the 438 Compact Leveling Head. 
And I bought this right after the leveling column showed up in order to compare the two. I haven't really come to a conclusion yet on which option I prefer. Uh, but they both work extremely well. The 438 is surprisingly big, considered that it's referred to as compact, but I think it's well proportioned to my 055-502 setup. It's pretty simple. It's two plates with a ball in between. Actually, it's not really a ball. It's more of a like cylinder with rounded edges, but it's round. And if you release the tightening lever, you're able to level whatever payload you have on top and then tighten it back down. The only real trade-off here is that the uh, 438 has a smaller range of travel. It's 10 degrees on the 438 compared to 15 degrees on the leveling column. It has some weight to it, and uh, when I first started comparing the standard level column with the 438 to the leveling column, I thought that this was gonna be a lot heavier, but it's not. I particularly like the lockdown lever. It's short enough that it doesn't get in the way of anything, but it's long enough that you can actually get some torque on it and get it tightened down really well. When I was shopping for the 438 online, I came across many, many knockoff products that'll perform this same function. And there's a time and a place for knockoffs, but for something that I'm going to incorporate into my full time, use it on every shoot rig, this just isn't it. Um, I don't know, too many times I've opted for the cheap copy of a piece of gear only to ultimately end up buying the real deal once I got frustrated enough. And that frustration threshold, I guess, is gonna be different for everybody. And budgets are different for everybody, but I make a living doing this. And the longer I do it, the more I realize that one of my biggest enemies on set is frustration. So having something that I feel like performs really well and that I feel like I can count on is worth a few extra dollars up front. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, one thing to note about the 438, it'll fit on anything that has a 3 8 inch screw. But there are two versions of the leveling column. One is for earlier models of the 055 and one is for more recent ones. So make sure to check your tripod model number before placing an order if you decide to go that route. I hope that this has been helpful to anyone who's looking to level up their tripod game. I thank Manfrotto for sending me all the cool gear to test and I thank you very much for watching.